Hey guys, welcome to RPA Feed. And in today's session, we'll be dealing with variables in Power Automate Desktop. How to use variable, how you can play around with variable creation part and all, all that we'll be seeing. So what I have done is I have logged into my flow. Um, this is my main window of the flows and there I have created a folder or main, uh, main flow named demos. Inside demos, I will be creating sub flows with each of the actions uh, going forward. We will cover as part of this demo flow. If uh, they are too much to handle in the same uh, flow, then we might go for an another uh, flow. So in this uh, in this video, I'll be creating a new flow so that you also get used to uh, this kind of a structure where you have a main task, a uh, main bot, and then uh, you can create separate child task, which we are calling sub flows here. So let me name it as variables. So here, uh, let me expand this variable section. So in Power Automate Desktop, like uh, all the actions are clubbed together under this variables, uh, which you can utilize. So for example, they have categorized the data table variables over here, create new. Uh, so all these sub actions are uh, corresponding to the data table operations. So you can delete a row, find or replace, insert a row in, into a data table. So these are specific to data table. Whenever we are seeing any uh, example, we'll, we'll use them, okay, in, in, in our upcoming videos. So uh, here in the variable section, uh, first, uh, what what uh, you can do is like whenever uh, you create a variable, right, you need to initialize it. So you can drag and drop or double click uh, the set variable uh, action and you can set the value of the variable. Basically, you can initialize a variable in, in for your project. Let's say uh, you want to set a some uh, uh, some flag or some variable uh, uh, just to track uh, order status, let's say. OK. So you can declare a variable and order status can be completed pending anything like that. So in initially you will be uh, uh, initializing it with in process. So you can have that value as an in process, right? And you can save it. So this variable got initialized later on uh, down your uh, flow, like in later down on your bot operations, uh, you can change the status of this variable. If you do not want to initialize it, basically if you want to go with a blank value assignment. So, so, you, so let's see, so power automate does not allow you to, uh, uh, set a variable with an empty value. Uh, there is a trick around it, how you can uh, set an empty value. You simply do this 2% sign and save it. Then it it will hold a blank value. So that's a trick. Uh, in case you like this trick, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be creating more such videos. Uh, uh, and that's a motivation for me. Um, yeah. So let's proceed further. So this is one of the uh, use of uh, set variables. You can use it to initialize your variables. So in our previous video, we have already covered this variable pane, right? Again, uh, a quick refresher. So uh, among these uh, three options, so this uh, this option is for variables. Whenever you you create a variable uh, input and output uh, variables, they are all shown up over here. And when you create a variables in the uh, with respect to the flow scope, then they are shown over here. For example, we have uh, just created order status variable, so it is shown here. There are no input and output variables as such for this flow. If we create them, so they will be reflected over here. Let me create one quickly by the default name as a new input. So you can see here, it is shown here. And similarly for output variable, it's shown here. So this is uh, for variable section. You can quickly search the variables in. Right now we are having just three variables, but in a, in a real time project, right? You might have 20, 30 odd variables, then it will be easier for you. Uh, if you search it, uh, then it will it will easily reflect that and it's really easy for you to navigate it with in a quick way. So that's all about uh, uh, the variable pane. Okay. But uh, coming back to the actions. Uh, so what all actions uh, you have, uh, you can perform on the variable. So I feel uh, as they have clubbed together the data, data table level variables, they should have also clubbed together the list level variables like sorting a list, merging a list, reversing a list. So all these list type of actions, right? Sub actions could have been uh, clubbed together like this of data table. I might, uh, they might come up with this uh, in a upcoming product release. That's just a guess. And yeah, then you have uh, increased variable. So if you want to increase a variable, like increment a variable by one or by any, any uh, data, like any number. So you can, you can use this, increase a variable. For example, uh, let's say your variable name is, uh, we have not created any uh, variable. Uh, yeah, we can use this input, new input variable and increase it by one, let's say. So uh, in that case, it will be uh, incremented by one. And you can you can print that via message box. Same goes for decree uh, decrease a variable. Create a new list. So whenever you click on this, it will create a new list for you, and you can initialize it with the values. So I'm not sure why it is not working. Yeah, it's a bit slow to respond. But yeah, you can you can define a list of uh, fruits maybe. Yeah. So this will be your empty list. And if you want to add items to the list, right? 
then you can use add add item to the list uh, action and then you can add the items let's say orange into which list you can select it from here we have created fruits list so i'll save it so one item got added to the list that is orange similarly you can populate this uh, with the other objects or, or other values other items right for example i want to add one more let's say apple into the same list i'll select it from here and save it now my list contains two items right you can use loop to navigate through these uh, items we'll cover them whenever we are covering the uh, loops or other uh, other use cases so currently this uh, this uh, video is just specific about variables so yeah we are limiting that scope to only variables and uh, then then we have we can retrieve data uh, we can retrieve data table column into list we can convert a json json object to a custom object so for example if we have a json data right whenever we are getting a response from an api we get it in a json format so then we can uh, we can get that json and convert it into a json custom json object right as per our need so for that there's a direct uh, 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 sub action or a direct action available under variable section so uh, in case you do want a detailed video on any of these variable uh, now uh, actions you can comment down below i'll create i'll find a use case a small snippet and i'll create a, a video around it okay uh, then we have a generate random number so uh, using this you can specify a range and uh, it, the program uh, the action will help us generate a random number so this will be a, a random number specified between the ranges so for example 0 to 100 if you specify every time it will generate a different random number between these ranges yeah as simple as that so every action is self explanatory if you use it like you can uh, you can play around it and uh, use it right so that's all uh, guys uh, with respect to variables hope you like this video and like the information uh, yeah please feel free to subscribe to the channel share this video among your friends and thanks for watching have a good day